Robin is our drip marketed character for version 2.1. I'm a little bit confused. Uh, if you've played the Panicone quest, I think you can understand why I'm a little confused. However, it doesn't actually mean anything. Just because something may have happened to Robin doesn't necessarily mean she can't be a playable character, as we've seen in the past. But I would at least assume the character would be here on the release. You know what I mean? Like, if whatever happens after your banner, so be it, right? But I didn't think, you know, somebody would... Something would, something would happen to somebody before they even get their banner. So, that's kind of interesting. But, anywho, it reads, there's a saying... The more demanding the diner, the stronger the skills of the chef. But no matter what others say, I'll always be demanding more from myself. A Halloween singer born in Panacone and rose to cosmic fame. An elegant and demure young lady. This time, she has been invited home by the family to grace everyone with a song at the Charmony Festival. She can use the power of harmony to broadcast her music, manifesting resonance among not only her fans, but all matters of life forms. Alice Hamoria, and the vocals are by Chevy. Huh, okay. And yeah, I couldn't help but notice she was the, she's physical, physical harmony. So kind of like Hanya, um, not, not kit wise, but just the element in the path. So I believe that won't really have too much of a matter in terms of like for harmony units, they don't really hit too often. They more of just like buff, you know, the other characters. But yeah, very interesting scenario here with Robin. It kind of looks like she's not actually human in this shot to me. It kind of looked like she's like a bird. She's like letting the bird free. And it's like a bird cage of the, the far right hand side or far left hand side. And she kind of looks like she's somewhat attached into that little circle, you know? Like, maybe she's, like, a, she's not actually real. She's just, like, a little, like, statuette or some kind of, like, really well-done mannequin with, like, a voice box, you know? Like, just something that can kind of project her voice, but it's not actually her anymore. I don't know. Because even in Honkai Impact 3rd Part 2, there's a character who has, like, the same kind of, you know, uh, like opening in her chest like uh, this purple opening in her chest i wonder if that had to do with any kind of correlation there but yeah i don't know man Pentacone did a really great job with the story because they are leaving people wondering what's going to happen next on the edge of our seats and we're just very confused and there's all these theories and that's exactly how you write a story you know so to see this drip market for robin despite what happened it just, it, it brings even more questions, you know? It makes you even more curious. But who knows? Could be a big old twist. Personally, I do feel like things kind of happen rather quickly in the very first part of Pentacone. So, you know, it, it'd be, I'm looking forward to see what, hap what happens next because, yeah, half the characters just, they don't really want to say too much, but yeah, a lot of characters, a lot of things happening to characters very quickly. And we just got there. I feel like we need a little bit more info, especially for Robin. We never even got to really talk to her. So who knows? I'm a little confused on this matter. But like I said, it's not impossible for a character to have a banner, you know, with what happened. So I don't know. I guess we'll find out in 2.1. Let me know if you guys know anything else important about Robin or anything else is there is to know. And... I guess with that being said, I will catch you guys most likely tomorrow in the next trip marketing, which shall be Sunday, perhaps, maybe even, um, you know, Firefly. Hmm? I mean, hey, if Robin's here, you know, <laughs> so, but yes, I will catch you guys in the next one.